There was an off-duty EMT who was like, she did something really bad to her back. You guys need to stop moving her. And I'm so thankful for him. Sorry for the noise, the cutting. It's super gross. Is that what it is? So, like, if you just get hurt bad enough, you just don't cry because you're just, like, shocked about it? Is that why I was just like, whatever? This is whatever? <gasps> Your body's just like, ha, 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 you're fine. <gasps> oh, my God. I was actually really embarrassed because I figured when I had flipped over, I was flipped into the doggy position. And, like, I'm trying to change my image a little bit, right? I don't want to get rid of Adriana, the brand, or the past, but... I want to, like, make myself seem more of, like, okay, gaming status. So, like, the most embarrassing part of the whole thing to me, which someone told me they did hold up some flyers or posters so no one could see, but was the fact that I got flipped over into, like, a doggy position. And I was like, what are the fucking odds? My first day to TwitchCon, like, trying to be, like, I'm an actual gamer, and I get here, do a phone pit, and now I'm stuck in doggy for, like, what? 30, 40 minutes until this EMT gets here. I don't know how long it took them, but it felt like 30, 40 minutes. Might have only taken 15 or 20. But I was like, in doggy right now? In doggy position? What are the odds? Ironic as fuck, isn't it? Isn't it? That's like the funniest thing. That was like what, that was what my brain would not stop focusing on. It's like, I was like, in doggy of all times. Like that's literally what was going over in my, my fucking <laughs> last time you doggy in the bit. Last time I saw you. Exactly. Exactly. God damn it. <sighs> right. It was so funny. Right. Nah, I wasn't registered doggy. I was just worried. Aw, thanks. Thanks. See, that's nice. But it was really funny. It was it's in my brain. That's what I was thinking. I was like, oh god. And then and then getting pushed out, I wanted to cry because I thought it was probably gonna be like embarrassing. Cause I didn't know if like a bunch of people would be standing around to be like, who the fuck is that? Who got hurt? I wish so much that I wish so much that I could find out who that off duty EMT was because for some reason um no one was taking it seriously and when he stepped in and he looked me in the eyes it's so crazy because we made an instant connection and I felt calm and he just immediately told everyone like do not move her and he looked at me and he goes you know, where's your pain, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, I saw the fall. You've either broken something or slipped it. No one's going to move you and you're going to be okay. Like, you're going to be okay. We're going to make this okay. And he was just so fucking kind. And the reason why I think I didn't break into hystericals is because that's what he did. He was just like, chill. Everyone else don't move her. And then, and then you know, it was just literally a split... Two, two to three minutes of interaction that literally really helped me. And I'm so thankful for whoever that guy was. Yeah. Yeah, he was... He was part of my journey, exactly. That sounds like the scariest thing is the medic not being trained as they should have been on it. I don't think they were proper, like... I don't think they were proper medics. I don't think they were proper medics because they were doing so much moving of my body and stuff and they were like moving foam they they were trying to tie my hair up right so it wasn't in my face and i was like i don't care it's in my face and they're like no let's get it out of your face and they're trying to tie my hair up which is like moving my neck so i don't know who the fuck those people were but they they were not like regular medics regular medics never behave like that they would have immediately made my my neck stay in the position it was <sighs> I 
I mean, it's barely a volunteer fire, fire, fighter worker. Firefighter, and I took CPR in college. I didn't even know not to move the next slash title. Wow. You're tougher than Ripley. Everything you've gone through. Thanks, River. Thanks so much. I know. You know what's crazy too is Edie said her butt was hurting her and she thought they were talking about her. I feel like there's no way that off-duty EMT doesn't see this now that you said that. I really hope so because I said it on Twitter because if he ever did see this, I would just love to give him a personal thank you and like a gift card to something of his dreams or like, I don't know. I'd just like to send him something or do something really nice because the only reason why I didn't break down and freak out was because of him for sure. Hi, Lili. Thank you so much. Hmm. I'm like, do I put it back on now or eat a little more? I'm gonna finish this food. I'm stopped. Ah, uh, the more the irony, exactly. Two years. So, like a year to two years, it's good to do it for up to two years. This pasta is so good. It's actually this fried chicken with the pasta is so good. I'm going to finish it, I think. It's from, it's from, um... Cheesecake Factory. I don't know, ma'am. I don't know, ma'am. All I know is that I went to a theme park two days prior and I was like, I'm not going to do this roller coaster because it could hurt my neck. Uh -huh. And then I'm like, let me jump in this foam pit with like no thoughts. Now I'm like, why didn't I question that? Because you don't question before you get in a car. You know, you don't question before you get in a car if you're going to get in an accident. You don't question things. And I won. What are the odds? Exactly. What are the odds? Hmm. No, I I sit down when I take a shower and then someone has to help me. Hey, Smokey, exactly right. But I should do PT for a very long time because it's going to just help me get range over time. I have some really um boring moves that I have to do now where I just have to like put my wrist up against the wall and like look and look back and look and look back. And it actually makes me very ti tired. I have a handicap um, sticker that I just got from the doctor and note, so I'm going to the DMV. But I can't drive myself for another month anyway. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, Disney for my birthday. Let's go. Yeah, I want to get like a... So listen to this though, but I can't, I don't get anything special. <laughs> Disney told me when we called to get the handicap package that I wasn't handicapped enough. So breaking your back is not 
enough to be handicapped at Disney, not even to get in front of the lines. <laughs> they straight up said it wasn't enough. <laughs> They said all of their lines comply with wheelchair sizes. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that ridiculous? I thought I was like, yes, I'm going to experience like the glory of getting to sit in the front row because I'm handicapped during shows. And they were like, no, you don't meet their requirements. <laughs> huh. Ask them for a minimum. I need to do for a pass. They, I don't know. We, I tried to give them everything. I was like, take my, take my x-rays, whatever you need. They're like, no. I'm like, God damn it. <sighs> yeah, that's. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? The lady on the phone was so rude about it, too. She was like, mm, you're not hurting enough. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, how are these handicapped people getting this handicapped shit? Because I see this bitch ride in with a wheelchair, and she gets out and walks no problem. A wheelchair is just for her, so she can carry all her extra luggage and be in the way. I don't understand. Um, I just took my brace I off so I can eat, eat a little bit. Because it's kind of hard to eat, eat, eat with the brace off. Especially because then your stomach's like a little more fuller, you know? You should have started crying. I'm going to go up to a Disney cast member when I get there. And... <sighs> and I'm going to... um. say something to them. I do not sleep with the brace on. No, absolutely not. <laughs> 